The Electrobat was one of the first electric automobiles. It was designed and built in 1894 by mechanical engineer Henry G. Morris and chemist Pedro G. Salom in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Both had backgrounds in battery streetcars and, as the battery streetcar business was fading, they teamed up to make battery road vehicles. Their effort was patented on August 31, 1894. Built like a small version of a battery streetcar, it was a slow, heavy, impractical vehicle with steel tires to support the 1,600-pound immense weight of its large lead battery. It entered production in 1895. In 1896, Morris and Salom founded the Morris and Salom Electric Carriage and Wagon Company, evidently the first electric car company in America. Subsequent versions were lighter and had pneumatic tires, with bodies built at the Caffrey Carriage Company in Camden, New Jersey. These cars steered by their rear wheels and had two 1.5 horsepower, 1.1 kilowatts motors that propel them 25 miles, 40 kilometers per charge at 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour. Morris and Salom went on to build about a dozen handsome cabs based on this vehicle to compete with the horse-drawn cabs then in service in New York City. They operated in New York, Boston, and elsewhere. They sold the cabs and their concept to Isaac L. Rice, who reincorporated the enterprise as the Electric Vehicle Company Elizabethport, New Jersey, in 1897, and later became part of Pope's Empire. <laughs> 